Good morning. So friends, today we'll discuss what is uh, document sequence in GL. Fusion general ledger. Okay. So document sequence is used for uh, gapless document numbering of all the journals. So how we can define the document sequence and how many types of document sequence are we can define in uh, Fusion GL. So friends, in GL we can define two types of uh, document sequence. One is accounting sequence, one is reporting sequence. Okay. So what is accounting sequence and what is reporting sequence? <clears throat> the purpose is that we want to separate all the sequential numbering in different different accounting events, different different events. So accounting event we use particularly when we are going to post a general ledger journal entry. One, and then accounting accounting sequence we also use when we are going to create accounting for a sub-ledger journal entry. Okay? Then, what is the reporting sequence? So, reporting sequence is generated or we are going to define, uh, we, we visually define the reporting sequence when the general ledger journal entries are posted. Okay, so when the general ledger journal entries and sub ledger journal entry as posted, then the reporting sequence will be triggered. So that is the main difference. So, what is the way we can define all these sequence? First of all, we need to create one sequence version. Okay. Then we to assign it to uh, some sequencing context. What is sequencing, sequencing context? Sequencing context is a, is a combination of entity and event. Okay? It's a combination of event and entity. So, in which context we are going to generate the sequential numbering? So, that is the purpose. So, when we are going to define any sequence, we need to assign it to a sequencing context. The sequencing context is the combination of event and entity. So, what is event? Events are GL period close, GL posting, and accounting, sub ledger accounting. These are the events. during which we can uh, generate the sequential numbering. What are entities? Entities, sub-ledger journal and GL journals. So combination of these uh, event and entity will create one sequential context and that context we need to assign to a particular sequence version, document sequence versions. In that way, it will generate one gapless sequential numbering on each event and entity. So let us define one now. document sequence. Okay. So navigation is it, it will come under uh, common application configuration for financial and uh, under that define general ledger option and uh, under define, define general ledger option, we have uh, manage accounting and reporting sequence. I am clicking on the tax. See, there are so many document sequence already defined for different different ledger. So let us create one new document sequence. Okay, so I'll keep going 
gl by accounting sequence sequence So what is the start date of the sequence? I'll give January 1st. Okay. Initial number I'll give 1. Seven close. Sorry. I'll give the sequence version here. So that's all for sequencing definitions or sequence version. So now I have created as a first step I have created my document sequence. The next step is to assign that sequence with the sequential context, sequence context. That means I have to assign, uh, I have to define, I have to mention for which ledger I have to create this sequence and uh, for which event entity and for which event sorry which event entity combination I have to create this uh, document sequence so I need to assign correct so let us go to sequencing assignment and uh, click and create So let us give my ledger name for which I am creating this sequence. I will give US primary ledger. I will select my ledger name here. Okay. See, you can see here that is entity. What is the entity? Whether you want to create this sequence for a general ledger or sub ledger. I will create this for general ledger. So that is the event. Sorry, entity. So what is the event? That is the sequence event. Whether I want to generate the sequence number for uh, during journal posting, GL journal posting, or at the time of period close. If I am creating it for uh, posting then it will be a accounting sequence if i'll select here period close it will be a reporting sequence so i'm selecting touch posting okay see now i can uh, assign my accounting sequence which I have created uh, here and give my start date I'll uh, give my start date here and save it 